Armed police have been deployed in the center of Paris following reports of a threat to the Iranian consulate. A police source told Reuters the man was seen entering the consulate, carrying what appeared to be a grenade and explosive vest. French police cordoned off the Iranian consulate in Paris where a man is threatening to blow himself up, French radio station Europe One reported. Service was interrupted on a nearby metro line for security reasons, the RATP metro company said neighboring streets in the city's 16th district in the center was cordoned off. The area around the consulate, which is close to Trocadero and the River Seine, is popular with tourists and the Paris metro was suspended in the nearby area, transport officials said. It was unclear whether the incident had any link to the escalating tensions between Iran and Israel. On April 19, explosions echoed over the Iranian city of Isfahan in what sources described as an Israeli attack, but Tehran played down the incident and indicated it had no plans for retaliation, a response that appeared gauged towards averting region-wide war recall with the Paris Olympic Games 100 days away. Police carried out a large-scale eviction at France's biggest squat in the south of the country's capital. Authorities, including dozens of gendarmes, cleared out the makeshift camp at an abandoned bus company headquarters in vitry sur seine The camp had become home to about 450 migrants, with images of the eviction spreading rapidly across social media. Russians turned nuclear plant into military base in Ukraine, world is close to nuclear catastrophe. We are dangerously close to a nuclear accident. This statement was made by International Atomic Energy Agency Director General Rafael Grossi at a meeting of the UN Security Council speaking about the recent shelling of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. According to Grossi, on April the 7th, the plant was hit by direct attacks, the first time since November 2022. One of the strikes hit the protective dome of Zaporizhia nuclear power plant Reactor 6, and two more hit objects near the buildings where the reactors are located, injuring at least one person. According to Grossi, the damage to the dome was external, but such an attack sets a very dangerous precedent for a successful strike on the reactor's protective shell. Zaporizhia nuclear power plant has been under occupation for more than two years. The Russians are staging explosions at the plant and intimidating workers. Ukraine has become the only country in the world to have a nuclear power plant seized by another country. Russia, in violation of all international conventions, has done so twice. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant was liberated and the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant near Ernahoda is still under Russian control. The few employees who remained in Ernahoda were forced to sign contracts. Some of them decided to stay to ensure the safety of the plant, which means the safety of the whole world. Due to the actions of the Russian troops, the plant has experienced eight complete and one partial blackout since the beginning of the full-scale war. The deployment of military equipment at the repair sites was recorded at five of the six power units. Russian military personnel are deployed at each power unit, in special buildings and the laboratory and amenity buildings of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. It has long been obvious that from the first day of the Russian occupation, the Russian troops turned the nuclear power plant into a military base.